Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a cabbage coleslaw egg side dish. If you guys wanna know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. If you guys are subscribed to my channel, then you know on Tuesday I had just posted a video on how to make Korean street toast and I was using coleslaw to help make that toast. And now what are we gonna do with all that remaining coleslaw or cabbage if you use that? This is what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a very simple, easy, light flavored side dish that you can eat for breakfast, for lunch, dinner, anytime really. And it's low carb, just high in protein, veggies, all the goodness for you. Very few ingredients are needed in this. So all we're gonna do is start with di well, slicing. If you're using a smaller onion, maybe about a fourth of it. I used a very large onion, so I only used about a third of it. But I did end up using about half of a bag of the coleslaw, which is about six ounces because I probably only use like an ounce worth from the sandwiches. I'm just gonna toss it around with my hands for a little bit to break up a little bit of the onion slices and add my salt and pepper right into this dish. Do this to taste whatever your preference is in this. Now let's grab two eggs. We're gonna crack them right into the bowl and then grab a fork and all we need to do is nicely coat up all of our coleslaw or cabbage mixture that you have in your bowl. Do take some time to do this part. We're gonna go ahead and stir it for a few minutes because we wanna make sure everything is evenly coated in here because when we fry it in our pan, we wanna make sure there's egg on the bottom as well so we can have it hold together. If you like, you could add some soy sauce to this to give it additional flavor. I didn't do it because I didn't think it really needed it. Again, that's up to you. Or you can put the soy sauce on the side and use it as a dipping sauce later if you'd like. As you can see, for as long as I've been mixing here, right there, there's still a, bit, a bunch of egg left. So, I mean, we really wanna get this nicely coated inside of our bowl just to make sure, again, we want everything even so everything cooks on uh, the pan very well. Now that we're done mixing, let's go ahead and get to your frying pan. You're gonna need one to two tablespoons of vegetable oil for this. Have this heated on a medium to medium high heat setting at this point. Coat your pan evenly and then grab that mixing bowl and let's throw the entire batch right into the pan. We're going to spread this out on the pan as evenly as possible, making sure we don't have any holes or any pockets of just where you can see the bottom of the skillet. You don't wanna see any of that. So just pat everything around, mix it up, and let it cook on your frying pan for a few minutes. You really don't have to do anything to it. Just let it sit there and do its own thing. And you'll see after a few minutes, it becomes a little bit more translucent and you'll see that it's the vegetables are becoming soft and more tender and it's, you know, doing its own thing. Don't rush in making this. Don't try to heat it up any higher because you might end up burning it. So th I think this took about 10 minutes in total. So while you have everything sitting in the pan, go ahead and grab your third egg, mix that up, and we're gonna have that nicely spread on top. And you wanna make sure you get the outer edges of it because the end pieces are the other ones that's always you know, falling apart from the rest of the pack here. So put it toward the edge and just roll it around as easily as you can just so you know the eggs are on the end and nothing falls out when you try to flip it or anything of the sort. And we're gonna continue letting it cook until it's almost done before we fold it over in half, doing it like an omelet style. I'm just gonna run my spatula around the ends to make sure nothing is sticking to the pan because we don't want that to happen when we're trying to fold it over. Now I'm gonna hold my pan up to see if there's any eggs running anywhere so that I know how cooked it is. And I don't see anything really runny at this point. But you know how I complained about how one side of my pan is always cooking more than the other? I'm just gonna flip it just to make sure we got it cooked more on the other side. Okay. 
All right, it's been a few minutes and I am ready to flip this in half. If you can flip the whole thing, more power to you. But I mean, this was a much larger skillet than I thought I would be using. So <laughs> I'm just gonna flip mine in half, just like an omelet. And I'm gonna let it sit on the pan and cook for a few more minutes because I wanna make sure that everything is cooked on the inside. Make sure you flip it if you can. You shouldn't have anything falling out because we had the eggs seal and hold everything together on the end. So don't worry about that. I served mine for breakfast in the morning with some rice and some veggies that we had. But I mean, you can really eat this anytime. But I hope you guys liked this recipe. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, share, make sure you get that notification bell done too. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.